dad of two little girls rides pink bicycle for six days to raise money for charity. Mad was the word his wife described him as when Wesley Hamnett told her about his plan to bike 220 miles from Glasgow all the way to Manchester in order to help raise money for four different charities. When he spoke to Glasgow Live, Wesley recalled, I said to the missus, I'm gonna do it, what do you think? She went, you're mad but just go for it. And so it was settled. Wesley was going to ride his daughter's bicycle with 12-inch wheels for over 200 miles. His original plan was to cycle from Russia to Manchester, but the pandemic foiled his plans. Instead, he decided to make the trip from Glasgow all the way back to his home on the tiny bicycle that belonged to his daughter. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. Hell, I wasn't sure if the bike was going to make it all the way. But I was gonna find out one way or another, even if it was absolutely mental, Wesley said according to the Sun. I barely made it. I felt like I was in Formula One, I had to change my tires eight times. I felt like I was gonna die during certain stretches, but it was all worth it. The reason behind him setting out on the crazy adventure was his grandfather. My last granddad died of cancer last year after he got it for the second time. It's something that really affected me and I knew I wanted to do something as a tribute, the father said. I wanted to raise funds for all the charities that have done incredible work and help my family and friends throughout the years. It evolved from that into something a little bit crazy. I thought I'd encourage people to donate and I'd cycle as far as they donate. And if they hit the target, I'd do a seriously stupid challenge, Wesley added. Determined to do this seriously stupid challenge for a wonderful cause, Wesley went to Glasgow by train and then began his journey back home on a bicycle that was designed for someone around half his size. The bicycle had a special significance to me as it's the one my two daughters learn how to cycle on, Wesley shared. There were plenty of hurdles along the way as the tires of the bike kept needing repairs along the way, but Wesley powered through and spent six days on the road, pedaling his way forward. The wheels keep buckling obviously because of my weight. The first time the wheels buckled, the guy sorted me out. He swapped me wheels from his grandkids' bike for free. That made my day, it nearly made me cry. Not so generous people have been, Wesley told Glasgow Live. The people he met along the way kept Wesley going, as thanks to the enthusiasm of some, he was even stopped on the way by those who wanted to make donations in person. The public keep beeping and waving and stopping and that's the bit that keeps you going, he added. Through the GoFundMe page, Wesley and the roughly $25 bike was able to raise around $10,900 or 8,405 pounds for four UK charities, Macmillan Cancer Support, Christie Charitable Fund, British Heart Foundation and Withenshaw Hospital's MFT charity. This amount excluded the money he was able to raise on the road from people donating in person. His six days of cycling with barely any sleep finally came to an end when he reached the finish line at his home in Manchester, where his two daughters Evie Hamnett and Taya Barron were waiting for his grand arrival. A cold beer and some time with his family was all he needed to soothe his sore back. <laughs>